Okay, so for my tutorial, um, the easiest thing that I found was to pre-comp or group all of your uh, one scene together into a file so that you can individually edit them. So for this, I'm going to go to my TV scene, which is right here. It's everything that includes from when the TV comes in to when the TV exits the screen. And so if you double click on it, it'll bring it to where everything is its own separate thing that fits in that. You can't see anything in the background right now because there's no colored background. But yeah, once the TV comes in, all of those details are in there. And you can make edits inside of this. And then what, and if you hit save on that, whatever you edit in this little box will edit as a whole on here without changing uh, everything up to here and having to individually change on the main. It also makes it easier because it has everything simplified and you don't have to scroll as much to find the one part that you're looking for. And the way to do that is to, I'm going to take these right here for an example. Um, these, full, these few right here, it's going to highlight all of them. And if you right click and go to pre-compose, you can name it. I'm just going to put name and you hit OK. It'll then group everything and you can make edits on here for those few. And then it's now a group on here under the name. And it shows you just where that one section is. So I'm going to undo that so I don't. Okay. And then um, another thing that I found out really quick was if I go to the scene again, um, how all the bars are completely across the pages or across the screen. It's really jumbled and it's hard to see where the starting point is for each one you have to scroll through. So I found that if you do Alt and then you hit the whichever, whichever bracket you like, if you hit Alt and then left bracket, it'll chop off the edge right there so then you know that's where the starting point is. And let's say it ends like right here, you hit Alt and hit the right bracket and it'll trim it down to there. And then at the end, it'll end up looking like this. So you can just easily go to where each point is that you need to edit without having to scroll through and find the point. Yeah.